let's talk thread ripper first i have to say these videos would not be possible without the generous support from my good friends over at amd and, you know i was very fortunate to be among the first to try out the first gen thread ripper 1950x and upgrading to this third gen 3970x has been a phenomenal leap in terms of stability and performance um, after those build photos you can see here, I just had to post a couple of Cinebench marks. You can see the, the leap from the first gen to the third gen was pretty major. Um, what I'm going to do today is, i am kind of uh, been really busy, but uh, I got to do a little March of Robots. And I'm going to cover that here and basically just go through how I use the Threadripper in my daily work tasks. So, first off right here, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to block out my character based on some reference here uh, in order to bring it into a, um, oculus medium and um, this is the first time i've trying this workflow because i wanted to do something where i would have a proportions kind of already set in and bring the fbx model in to medium instead of having to like throw it together uh, and not knowing where my uh, origin is and make sure everything's like planted correctly so i thought i would let me just block it out in maya first and bring it into medium so that's what i did and uh here I'm in medium and um, just you know blocking stuff out and I hadn't used medium in a while so it was kind of fun to go back in and kind of re-associate myself with uh, using the, the layering system and not doing too much kit bashing but just using a couple stamps here and there um, just trying to get the forms blocked out because what I'm going to do now is after this is done I'm going to export this file as an FBX and bring it into ZBrush where I will do all of my um, refining and topology so here I am just, let's see here, just managing some of my layers, export it out, and now we're jumping over to ZBrush. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is go through all my pieces, which I've kind of kept in layers, so they're easy to edit. And I went through and uh, did a zebra mesher on all the forms, and I'm going through and just kind of cleaning up here and there, um, keeping the hierarchy as it is so that I can go in and edit stuff um, separately. Let's see, so I'm just going through here and uh, kind of further refining some of these shapes. I think what happened was I was using that sketch as a kind of a loose reference. I wasn't trying to hit that mark exactly, but I kind of had an idea that I wanted to do something with those proportions. So that was a good guide to start off with, but then, you know, I kind of knew it along the way and it kind of things changed, and especially like coming into the ZBrush here, I started to figure out where I want to maybe add some panel loops and edge loops. And I'm going through here and experiment with a couple different ideas. Um, some of them I like, some I don't. I kind of go through and change up the poly grouping and then I come up with some cool cut lines and try to figure out some areas where I can segment the character up. That's what I'm doing here. And um, working a little bit on the feet. through and using the clip curve here to kind of separate out my poly groups and then I go through and do the uh, zero meshing and re uh, edge loop stuff to get some nice little cut lines and bubbles oh here's another cool technique I like to use is masking and then mask by poly groups so kind of go through here really quickly and mask out some regions control W create some new poly groups continue repeat continue repeat and then I can go through and uh, smooth out those groupings and then easily separate the stuff out with uh, the edge loops so I'm just gonna kind of finish up here with the head try to pull out some details and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this back over to Maya where I'm gonna then uh, do the UVs and get stuff ready to go for some spanner so We'll just ride this one out here where I'm kind of going through and exploring some more group stuff for the head helmet. But meet me over in uh, video two where we're going to jump into uh, Substance Painter and uh, show you how I use that. <laughs> 